Hello, Dani here and welcome to my manga haul. Um, I've been doing the book one and the comic one, so the last one I'm doing is the manga one. Um, I haven't bought anything new since a while, so the next haul is probably going to take a while. I need to get money first and everything, so... But yeah, anyway... I've got a total of five mangas to show today and um, three of them I bought when I was still working at the comic shop in England and two I bought when I came back to Switzerland so I had to order them online. Um, yeah, it's another thing when I was working at the comic shop I obviously got mangas and comics as at a discounted price and now I have to pay full price so I can't buy as many as I used to so let's see when the next haul is gonna be but anyway I've got five to show so let's get started the first one I have to show is Orange Volume 2 the complete collection by Ishigo Takano um, this is the second and final volume and I got the first one already so I just got the second one as well so I've got it complete and can read it all and I can't wait because it's like time traveling and love story and I don't even know because I have not read any of it yet all I know that there's like this girl who gets a letter from the from a, from the future or something and telling her that she has to like protect and save one of the boys because something is going to happen and it sounds really interesting and a lot of time travel stuff and back to the future kind of thing so you know but yeah it sounds really interesting and I can't wait to dive into this story so yeah, that's Orange Volume 2. Then, I've got something that I was thinking about for a long, long, long time. I should have bought it earlier, so, but, you know. Um, but I wanted to get it just because I thought it was really pretty. And I love these um, editions. And I just really wanted them for the shelf as well. So, But I might as well read it. And that is... Death Note, the Black Editions, that is Volume 1 and 3. We didn't have Volume 2 at that time in the shop, so I went with 1 and 3. Um, I have seen the anime of this, and I really liked it. So, but these are just so pretty. Nice and pretty covers, and they're black and white, which is just always good in my books. So I got it. So I need to get the rest of these as well. For those who don't know, this is basically about a guy who finds a notebook and any name he writes in there, that person is gonna die. So obviously he's just gonna, you know, do what he's gotta do. I admittedly I do not really like the main character, but it's okay. There's lots of other characters I love, so I can't wait for those. Like this one. But yeah, anyway, it's all dark and mysterious and very bad. Then I got... A Silent Voice Volume 2 by Yoshitoki Oima. I got the first one, I haven't read it yet, but I heard good things about it and everyone who's read it said to actually read it and I can't wait to read this story. It sounds really sad and tragic and I think it's about this girl who is deaf and she got bullied by this guy and I think they meet later on in life and he has to like redeem himself and stuff like that I think 
and it's basically just about the guy who wants to like apologize for what he did to her back in school and it just sounds really sad and dramatic and it sounds like something I'm gonna cry so good I can't wait to read this it's a finished story I think it's got seven volumes so I still have a few to get but I can't wait to actually read this I'm excited and the last one I bought an obvious pick because I need to get through with the series and that is Tokyo Ghoul volume 4 by Sui Ishida I've read the first three and I love this story so I can't wait to continue with it um, for those who don't know it's about a boy who is under terrible circumstances has been turned into half ghoul so now he is half human half ghoul and he just has to get used to life like that and he meets all the ghouls and their way of life is not what he likes so he has to get used to being a ghoul but also human and he's got human friends and now he's got the ghoul people and he just has to find like an in-between between those two living creatures so I'm not gonna say what's gonna happen in this one. I don't know. I don't know myself, but you know I don't want to spoil anyone. But yeah, if you like supernatural stuff, read this. It's good. So yes, this is actually all the mangas I have so far. It's not a lot, I know, but, you know, it's for now, so, this are my new mangas. And I can't wait to read all of them. So, yeah, that is it for this video. As I say, I don't know when I'm able to buy more stuff. Um, I think I might prioritize buying mangas and comics because I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of freaked out about these going out of print and me not having finished the series so I'm like because books they get re reprinted a lot so when you have like the old books from like very very way back so and you can still get them so I'm more scared about mangas and comics to be out of print so I kind of want to get all of them but I can't so and my TBR list is huge like just yesterday I wrote down all my the books comics and mangas that I need to buy in the future and I got a lot I got like one and a half pages of books and I almost got one and a half of comics and I got almost one and a half of manga and I've seen there's loads coming out next month so I'm just gonna be like <sighs> money I wish I was rich so I could buy all of this stuff yeah I would spend my money on this all of it all of it but yeah anyway that's it for my manga haul but yeah that it is that is it for today and I'll see you soon.